All right, man. Let's get warmed up. Hey, what's up, friends? So this is just going to be a simple CrossFit warm-up modified so you can use the least amount of kit as possible. So what you'll need is an ab mat or something. You could use a towel, a stick, broomstick, and then maybe a set of rings and a pull-up bar. But you can kind of use whatever's at your disposal. So the first thing you'll do, and you'll do three rounds of this, right? So the first thing I'll do, Samson stretch 30 seconds a side. So I get an ab mat for my knee, and again, towel or something will do just fine. And then what you'll do is interlace your fingers and then push them to the sky and take a knee on the mat. So if I do that, take a knee on the mat and then interlace my fingers, push them to the sky and then push my hips forward, but I'm not arching my back here. I'm just kind of keep my abs on tight, pushing my hips forward and then pushing my hands above my head. So you can do that for 30 seconds a side or just count your breaths. So you're gonna do like five or six breaths each side. Once you're done on one knee, you'll switch to the other knee and you'll stretch out the other side. After that, your stick will be for your overhead squats. So take up a nice wide grip, get that normal squatting stance, and then just keep your movement nice and slow here. So knees out, hips back and down, all the way into the bottom of your squat, and just kind of pull down into that one nice and slowly. Again, just making sure you've got your abs on nice and tight. After that, so let's say we do 30 seconds a side of the Samson, you'll do 10 overhead squats and 10 sit-ups, so that's what your ab mat's for. And again, towel, whatever, doesn't matter. I can go this, just sits in that lumbar curve. So you're creating like a fulcrum for your back to work off, so you're not destroying your back doing sit-ups. So if I put that on the ground, and you probably won't be able to see, but I just bring my feet into like a butterfly position, hands touch the ground at the back, and touch the ground at the front. So all we're trying to do here is traditionally this workout, or this warm-up calls for like a GHD, just trying to eliminate that if you don't have one. So ab mat sit-ups, 10 reps, and then after that you can go into 10 reps of your Superman. So again, because you can't really see the floor, I don't think, I'll be on my belly on the ground, and then what I'll do is I'll try and lift my chest and my quads off the ground, and just sort of switching on through my lower back here, and you're doing that Superman hold, come down, and rest. Um, see if I can... No, I don't think you'll be able to see it anyway, so it's all cool. So, 30 seconds aside, Samson, 10 overhead squats, 10 sit-ups, 10 supermans, and then five pull-ups and five dips, good place to start too. So pull-ups, just go like overhand grip, chin over bar, come back down, so keep them nice and strict. If you're gonna do dips, so if you have a set of rings, or even just like a box or something like that, you can do dips on the rings. If not, you can, quite easily switch it out for something like pull-ups, uh, for something like push-ups, sorry. So yeah, and you just do that three rounds and that's a good whole body warm-up with minimal kit. 30 seconds a side of your Samson, 10 overhead squats, 10 sit-ups, 10 supermans, five pull-ups, five dips, and that's it.